I would like to thank all the speakers and participants for the contributions to the round table. All of you have underlined the importance of working in a more integrated way in the Mediterranean area. Today, with a proposal to create the Med Macro Region Friends, we are taking another step forward to have a common message for the EU institutions, recalling and highlighting that macro regional and sea basin strategies provide an ideal policy framework through which public authorities at different levels can cooperate to deliver the post COVID-19 recovery and achieve the green and digital transition in, in a more integrated way. Therefore, it is necessary to act for giving more impetus to the process towards the creation of an integrated Mediterranean macro-regional strategy. These efforts should rely on the work of leading and consolidating platforms, such as the one I'm representing here today, the Mediterranean Cooperation Alliance, while counting on the support of key institutions, such as the European Parliament, the Committee of the Regions, and the present French and coming Spanish presidencies of the EU Council. To this extent, the coherence with the macro-regional vision in the new governance dimension of the 21-27 Euromed and NextMed programs is especially relevant. We acknowledge the importance of the Union for the Mediterranean as partner in the inclusive, balanced, and sustainable development of the Mediterranean Basin. We call to reinforce the strategies with more financial support, including from member states. Considering recent critical situations caused by COVID and conflict in Ukraine, we make a call to definitely improve the multi-level multi -level governance. A well-functioning governance structure is critical to the success or failure of the strategies. Regional authorities are already playing a key role at implementation level. They should, ha however, be able to participate in a more structured way in the strategic decisions taken at political level. Across the existing macro-regional and sea basin strategies, there exist different degrees of involvement and shared responsibilities. In this framework, and with an integrated approach for all the Mediterranean we firmly believe to involve as much as possible the non-EU countries. In this context, we welcome the progress and the role, including non-EU countries of both the EU strategy for the Adriatic Ionian Euro region, region EUSER, and West Med, Western Mediterranean Initiative. The two strategies show that there is a clear rationale for an integrated cooperation approach across the Mediterranean basin to give coordinated answers to similar objectives, challenges, and solutions. Thank you very much.